Hello again, everyone. As I drove up the driveway to Clooney Hill this morning, I was struck by the sight of these palm trees and the, the juxtaposition of seeing palm trees covered in snow. And it got me thinking about how things are not always what they appear to be, or sometimes they're more than what we are accustomed to thinking of them as. So um, it got me thinking about a particular message that came to Dorothy McLean from the landscape angel that asked us as human beings to look at what we think we are and to perhaps expand into being something more than our current identifications. So this message, uh, you can find it in To Hear the Angels Sing. We call to you, human, from the highest of our realms, and you are there. We call to you from densest earth, and you are there. We call from other worlds across space, and still you are there. We are inwardly still and attuned, and you share in our oneness. If there are worlds we cannot reach, no doubt you are there too. Man know thyself. We talk to you from the kingdom of nature. Do not limit the wisdom of that kingdom, which is divine in manifestation, and includes obscure worlds that you disregard at your peril. All around you, in every bit of matter, is what has come from, is, and leads to, the only one. And within you is the consciousness that can know and express this. You are all things to all worlds. You incorporate life itself, bound to earth and bound to heaven, tiny specks of one small planet in a limitless universe, the image of it all. That is what you are. But what do you think you are? We know that both we and you are. But you, what do you think? Your thoughts tell you. They are your range of expression, and you might just as well let them reflect what you really are. Are they negative or trivial? Then change them. Turn them. Turn them round the other way. Use the mighty gift of the pairs of opposites to find oneness, to rise and turn to what you truly are. Enjoy what you are. Give thanks for it. Give thanks to creation and its servers for making you possible. Tune into what you are. Stay put to your immensity. Tune into what you are. Stay put to your immensity. It is for this that we have wielded power through the ages, but now we can know one another and come together for the glory of God. We, call, we need call to you no longer. As one, we can express wholeness. To those of you who may be sensitive to language and gendering in language, I just want to point out that that message came back in 1971. And Dorothy was of a generation. She was born in 1920. And sometimes it feels important just to share the messages the way she actually worded them, rather than change them for the times that we live in. The message is still very clear and I think very relevant for the times that we live in. Until the next time. Bye for now.